All right, YouTube, Freedom for Cash here. Hey, how's it going out there? It is Friday, and we're looking for a good weekend here in the United States and Japan. Again, same old story. It's been two weeks since today, since the explosions happened. And I just want to get into some information here about what's going on and the misleading information. Um, I'm going to play a clip right now that's a little misleading. And it says that uh, things are getting slightly better in Japan, so let's listen to the clip. New pictures showing the crippled facility at the center of the world's worst nuclear crisis in a quarter of a century. News that three workers trying to restore power to the Fukushima plant were exposed to high levels of radiation has once again complicated efforts to bring it under control. Authorities say the workers stepped into pools of contaminated water as they tried to lay cables to bring power to one of the damaged reactors. Fears of a catastrophic meltdown of nuclear material now appear to be receding. Experts say two of the reactors are now safe, four remain volatile, emitting steam and smoke periodically. Japan's defense minister says U.S. forces will provide water for cooling operations. In the containment and pressure vessels, the pressure has been going down and they are now in a rather stable situation. But the science ministry says daily radiation levels 30 kilometers from the plant have exceeded the annual amount one receives from nature. And elevated levels of radioactive cesium have been detected in a leafy vegetable grown at a Tokyo research facility. The vegetables are not for sale to the public, and the contamination levels are reportedly not dangerous to human health. But the new finding highlights the ongoing dangers faced by the Japanese people. Some good news, however, for Tokyo residents. After authorities lifted a restriction on using tap water for infants, they had initially imposed the measure after twice the safe level of radiation levels were found in drinking water. Measured figures can always fluctuate, but there is no problem with temporarily higher levels if they stay within the legal limits. Despite the assurances, bottled water has been flying off the shelves, and the government has ordered manufacturers to step up production. The March 11th earthquake and tsunami continue to claim more lives. More than 200,000 people are still living in emergency shelters, and dozens have reportedly died because of the cold and inadequate care. So as you heard in the clip, you know, they were talking about how some of the things are getting better and some of the things are, are, are easing up in there. But honestly, that's very misleading. If you really pay attention to what's going on in that video, they said that two of the six reactors are, are stable. Well, that's pretty much been the whole gist of the whole problem is that Four of the six reactors have had problems, and the two that have been stable, they weren't too worried about those. So again, it's more misleading. Now, they also talk about <clears throat> allowing children to drink the tap water uh, if the radiation is within legal limits. You know what? If I had a baby, I'd be out of there. It's just, it's just kind of crazy. Now, there's going to be some links underneath as well. And again, to contradict that video a little bit, um, Japan has just now actually increased their their evacuation plan and it seems as though that the bottled water is just uh, flying off the shelves right there in, in, the, in the grocery stores and in fact this story right here it says um, at a downtown grocery store a line of anxious mothers clean the shelves of bottled water seven minutes after the store had opened so it took seven minutes seven minutes for all of the stock of bottled water that the store had was gone it was all bought and sold in seven minutes that's amazing um and it says here that uh you know japanese residents are nervous about the uh, uncertainty as far as the radiation is going to spread up to 150 miles to the southwest of the uh, Fukushima plant. <clears throat> and uh, radiation was reported in parts of the food chain and millions are trying to understand the radiation implications. Uh, apparently in Japan they didn't really um, 
teach people, you know, an emergency escape route or what would really happen if an emergency had happened in Japan with the nuclear fallout. And, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of crazy. But anyway, uh, moving on here. Japan urges more evacuations. And um, it's just kind of funny right here. <clears throat> like within the first two weeks. Uh, they had people, uh, you know, from anywhere from 14, 12 to 14 miles away from the Fukushima plant to just evacuate, and those that were beyond, like, 14 miles to just stay in their house. Well, now they've changed that. Now they've made it a mandatory evacuation for anybody within 19 miles of the Fukushima plant to move and get out of that area. So they've increased it by several miles. And it says right here, after maintaining for two weeks that resident, residents could continue living within 12 and a half miles of the Fukushima plant uh, or more, the power plant official has said that those living as far as 19 miles away should consider evacuating voluntarily. And uh, it's not voluntary anymore, okay? As of today, they are moving people that are within 19 miles, okay? It's not voluntary anymore. That was up until today that it was voluntary. Today, they've changed that, and they are making people leave within 19 miles of, of the uh, plant. So, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about MOX fuel, and uh, the TVA officials here in the United States, now, the, the, the TVA is an organization combined of several states in the lower Midwest to the southern region, and... Um, what they do, what the TVA does is they help with um, energy, electricity, they help understand, you know, uh, nuclear reactors and uh, emergency, you know, shutoff plans and emergency evacuation plans. So the TVA is a, a United States based organization and this article is about what the United States have done differently than, than what Japan has done. As far as uh, you know, our pool, our, our cooling pools are safer, and our radioactive uh, plants are are safer than those in Japan. But getting back to the Mox fuel, a lot of people don't realize, and this link will be underneath. Um, it says uh, there have been reports that the Fukushima plant was using mixed oxide fuel, which is Mox. At the time of the disaster, at the, at the time of the disaster, MOX is a type of nuclear fuel that uses uranium and plutonium recycled from nuclear warheads. MOX is touted as a more potent and intensive fuel that reduces the number of nuclear weapons. Although critics claim this MOX fuel would produce worse radioactive contamination in an accident and this is exactly the fuel that J Japan is using in one of the reactors is this mock fuel so when countries like United States and Russia actually start to break down their nuclear warheads Japan goes ahead and grabs this fuel and they put this fuel in their nuclear power plants to generate their electricity so that's even scarier because now that that these Mox fuel plant has been exposed. They're saying it's equal to that of a nuclear explosion, and I kind of figured that all along. But um, again, you know, the links will be underneath, and uh, I just want you guys to check that out. And then this last thing here: um, there was a re-evaluation re of uh, reactor number three. And that is the one that uses the MOX fuel, and this would, this report just came out today. Um, and uh, it says, uh, the nuclear crisis at Fukushima is no better and possibly worse now, and more damage was reported in the containment vessel at the reactor number three, which again, uses the MOX fuel. So go ahead, check out the links. People, it's been two weeks, and, and I'm telling you, the government isn't telling you everything about what's going on, especially with this reactor number three with the MOX fuel. It's very, very dangerous. And like I said, this one link right here connects MOX fuel 
to that of a nuclear warhead.